Right now, four decades after more than 30 children and young adults were killed, the mayor of Atlanta says investigators have enough DNA evidence to investigate possible new leads. CBS 46's Haley Mason is live tonight looking into how DNA testing could make a difference in this historic case. Haley? Tracy, this could be a major development for some of the families of the victims, family members who didn't really want to get their hopes up, but never felt that the cases were properly handled to begin with. Well, I've been talking to some of those family members of the victims who vanished as children. They're hoping some maybe new names or new information will come out of this investigation. This was a very, very painful time in our city's history. Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms recalling the Atlanta child murders, making good on her promise to not only memorialize the victims, but reopen investigations into their deaths more than 40 years later. Part of my asking that this be reopened was in light of where we are with DNA testing. Bottoms today announcing that investigators have collected enough DNA evidence to send at least two cases to private genetic labs to try to identify with confirmation a suspect or suspects in their murders. Fiber evidence was reanalyzed in all 30 of the cases and investigators have also um, extended the timeline from 1970 to 1985 to see if there are any additional children or victims. Currently, Wayne Williams is in prison for life, charged with the murders of 30 children and young adults, but many of the families do not believe he's the only killer. It's an obligation that we have. What we've got is, is years of boxes, and evidence. When Bottoms reopened the cases two years ago, I talked to her and city leaders about exploring this genetic pathway. Second, third, fourth, I also sat beyond. down with genetic so genealogist CC Moore, Anthony. diving into her groundbreaking work in solving cold cases with microscopic decades old DNA like that in the child murder files. So we can use second, third, fourth cousins and beyond to reverse engineer the family trees of an unknown DNA contributor. I mean, it's truly my hope that with the analysis of this additional DNA that we can have some additional answers. And the mayor is hoping to have those answers in the next few months. And she says if that is not possible, she hopes that the next mayor will make this a priority to get those results answered for these families. Meanwhile, right now they aren't releasing the name of that private uh, DNA lab that's working on this case as the company has asked for privacy as they do this work. But I am working on getting that information released for now. Reporting live outside of Atlanta City Hall, Haley Mason, CBS 46 News. Hopefully answers for those families. Haley, thank you.